Hi there, it's Ivan and you're watching Puzzle Guy channel. I have two good news. First is that starting from today a lot of shops are opened in Czech Republic and in the middle of May a lot of bars and restaurants will be opened as well. So hope we can live the same nice beautiful life as before the coronavirus. And the second good news is that I bought a new microphone. So hope my videos are gonna sound a little bit better starting from today than my previous videos. So let me know in a comment what do you think if I sound better right now than in my previous videos. And since it's a puzzle channel, you came here to see me solve any puzzle. And today is Monday, usually I solve easy puzzles or puzzles that I think are gonna be easy. My today puzzle, today's puzzle is not easy. It is a fractal puzzle. I've solved one uh, like a couple of months uh, ago. If you want to see that video, click right there. Today's fractal puzzle is gonna be a little bit different, but I think that I will be able to solve it much quicker since I have some experience in solving such kind of puzzle. The name of today's puzzle is Wooden Fractal Tray Puzzle Wanderlich Curve 2. It was designed by Martin Rainsford. Difficult level of this puzzle is 9 out of 10 and the object is to remove all parts from the tray and then put them back inside the tray. And since it's a fractal puzzle, all the parts are going to be very similar and it's going to be pretty difficult to find solution. If you like this fractal puzzle and you want to buy it, I will put a link in the video description as always. And if you want to see me solving this puzzle, keep watching the video. So let's see how long it's going to take me to solve this version of fractal tray puzzle. I don't know if it's going to be easier than the previous one or much more difficult. We will see it at the end of the video. So I'll start my stopwatch and maybe I'll take a closer look first. Maybe there are some interesting parts which gonna, which gonna help me to solve the puzzle later, since I can't really see the shape of each part, how they're gonna look when I remove them. So I'm just trying to find some interesting parts. For example, this one is pretty interesting. As you can see, there are like three parts uh, close to each other so that's going to be like an interesting spot spot to look for what else I can see I can see there is interesting place here seems like it was uh, the the wood was cut it but not all the way so I think that this small piece will stay here maybe that's going to be an interesting part and there is some texture but I don't know if it's gonna help me to solve it. At least there is like a white line goes here, a little bit here, here. So maybe I will be able to solve it a little bit quicker. So, okay, let's remove all the parts and see what's gonna happen next. So that's all parts. At least this time, all parts have only one side I don't have to worry about the second side if I put them right or wrong so I just have to put them with the right color up and try to figure out the way how to solve them okay let's see there is like plenty of uh, shape still here that's good all other parts when I put them on the tray they're gonna create some extra shape for some other parts I don't know how to like this and there's gonna be more spot for different parts so we will try to figure out later so let's take a closer look at all parts I see there are a lot of similar parts but not not very similar so for example these two parts I think there are only two square shaped parts all others are a little bit different they almost similar but they are a little bit different right here on top this one has small sticking out part this one has bigger one so I'll put them aside this part is quite interesting I don't know where I can put it oh 
Oh, maybe I know where to put this part right from the very beginning. I think that it will go right here, since there is a cutout here, which is gonna perfectly fit this part. And then this cutout goes all the way here, so probably that's gonna be right here. And I think that the texture goes like a right way, so probably this is the right one. So let's see, there are two parts like this. Again, they are almost similar, but this part has small sticking out part and that's gonna be not so easy to find the correct one which I have to use. So these two are very similar again, but one tiny detail is different. Let's see, I think there are gonna be like four, five, six similar parts. All of them, if I put them together, they're gonna be almost almost the same but yeah if you look like this it seems like there is one part but each part has something different or maybe there are two parts that are exactly the same so this one and this part are exactly the same i think so yeah seems like this okay and all other parts have just something a little bit different. Okay, let's try to figure out the way where to put this part. There is interesting part here. And I remember there was right in the middle piece where three parts were like connected together. And that was, I think this part is right from there. And probably it's gonna fit here and all texture seems seems correct okay i'll keep looking for another piece which i can fit somewhere oh it seems like this piece fits well and it goes well with texture of this side that is awesome okay what about this one I don't think I can fit it here. No, it seems like I can fit it, but I don't know if... Yeah, and it seems texture goes very well here as well. Okay, I feel kind of a little bit lucky. But I still have a lot of parts which I have to figure out how to put and where to put. So maybe no. Oh. oh, this part. Okay, that was just a pure luck. I just put this part here and it seems like it fits with the rest parts. That is interesting. So now here I can fit only two parts and I think it's gonna be something like, oh. Okay, this part doesn't belong here. I have to remove it. It doesn't match the texture. So which part supposed to be here? Probably one of these. Since if I put this part here, for example, I don't have such a small part to fit there. And this part supposed to go like this, since texture goes different way and probably it's gonna be right there yep and it's gonna be here since there is a texture of the plywood here that match perfect okay i have only six parts and i really hope i'm very close to solving it i'm not sure but i really hope so okay let's try to find some other interesting parts that gonna fit well in some spots yeah this goes here since it fits right here in like a nice spot so here will go one of the parts that look like this but i have to find the correct one yeah it's perfect okay less parts but 
one goes where? Probably this one will fit here perfect. The one that I can fit here, which, no, it's not gonna be this one, but it's supposed to be. Okay. Yeah, it seems like I made a mistake somewhere. I'm not gonna be able to fit all parts there. Okay. What if I try to, nope, doesn't look like right. Maybe, yeah, maybe this time it looks better. Let's figure out. Now it fits perfect. What about these parts which goes where? I don't think this goes in here, but it seems like it's gonna fit here perfect. And the last one gonna fit right here since it has a cutout. Please. Yay! Okay, that was not very difficult. It took me 12 minutes. And still, it is the second similar puzzle that I solved, but still, it is pretty interesting to figure out the way how to fit like a lot of very similar parts into a tray, which seems like impossible to fit. That was the solution of wooden fractal tray puzzle. This time I've been able to solve this puzzle much quicker and still it was very interesting for me to solve it and I think I'm gonna buy one more uh, fractal tray puzzle that has different shapes of the parts. Uh, and still it is uh, pretty difficult to figure out the way how to fit all the parts inside since in each puzzle all the parts have different shape and uh, every time you have to find new clues and uh, new ways to put all the parts inside the tray. So if you like wooden fractal tray puzzles and you want to buy them, link is as always in video description. If you enjoyed watching my video, hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet and push the bell button to be notified every time I upload new video. See you next time!